Welcome back around. Today we are looking at a new rogue called Smart Protection 2012. It's a clone of the uh, System Tool series, so we'll give it a look here in a minute. I, of course, have to record this with a camera because it does not want to work in a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and run the setup file. And actually, Windows Defender picks this up. I'm not going to remove it just for the sake of this video, but it's kind of interesting that it actually will detect it. And opening up Task Manager, as you can see it's running right there. And I'm just screwing around right now, but basically I'm recording this commentary style, so not as accurate of comments maybe about what's actually happening or what I'm doing. Hopefully you get the gist of it. Alright, so I've been waiting a few minutes and it hasn't really done anything, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot. So we can actually get this video going. Alright, so we're back into Windows, and there it is, Smart Protection 2012. Looks exactly the same as that other one I was talking about, System Tool or whatever. And as you can see on the bottom, it is blocking programs. Right now I'm trying to get the magnify or something to work, so... Magnify, and it's blocked for some reason. Anyway, there's the scanner. It's finding some fake infections. Uh, what are we doing now? Oh, another program blocked by this. And of course, Task Manager is going to be blocked. Payment page pops up. For some reason, it doesn't work. And we just move on. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and stop the scan. There's all the files that it found, supposedly. Protection, privacy, update, settings. There's only one language this time, so it's interesting. And we're opening up Internet Explorer right now. And I believe we're about to start the removal process. And as you can see here, it doesn't actually redirect anything. So your searches will all work. Now the first thing we're going to download is Arkill. For those of you who don't know, Arkill is this program that will basically uh, stop any malicious processes from running. It won't delete them, but it will make uh, removal a lot easier. And so you go to download this and you save it as lsass.exe. Now this is important because if Smart Protection tried to kill a process called lsass.exe, it'll crash the computer like the sasser worm did. So named as that, you run it, and there it goes. Eventually. You get this command prompt window saying preparing our kill. Now it's running, doing its thing. Reloads the uh, desktop. And there you go, you get a nice uh, log file. You, you can uh, go ahead and close this, and then we'll move on to step two, I guess. 
Alright, so at this point, now that Smart Protection has been disabled for the moment, we can go ahead and download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. And use this tool all the time. So, it's pretty great. Alright, so you go ahead and save it to uh, the desktop. Alright, so you go ahead and run it. And go through the setup. Select the language. Next. Accept the agreement. Next. 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 And click finish, leave both those things checked. And it will go ahead and automatically update whenever it starts running. There we go. All right, you can go ahead and decline this trial. You won't really need it. And I always like to make sure this thing is updated. So go ahead and check for updates. Go down to full scan, click scan. And then you wait for this thing to load. I have a CD in the drive, that's why. And then you click scan. And scan times can vary with this. It can take from like a half an hour to like a half a day almost. So depends on the speed of your drive, how many files you have on it, how large it is, all that stuff. But full scan, at least you know it'll pick it up. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when it's done. Alright, so the scan finished and it's found five objects. And here they are. Go ahead and click Remove Selected. Oh, by the way, Malwarebytes will pick up Rkill if you name it LSASS simply because I don't know, to be honest. Anyway, here's the log file. 26 minutes, not bad. And it's telling me to restart, so I'll go ahead and click Yes to restart now. And that will wrap it up for Smart Protection 2012. Uh, come visit us at the new site, tirade.org. As you can see at the bottom, ghetto rigged onto the screen. Uh, hit me up on Twitter too, tirade, D-O-T, org. Uh, I'll post updates and whatnot. Previews for the next videos and interesting stuff like that. Let's see, on the main page at tirade.org, I do have a donation link if you want to help me run this site. I actually looked up my um, server right now, and I looked up the data sheet or whatever on IBM's website. This thing was released January 30th, 2004. I think that's right. Yeah, January 30th, 2004. This sucker's eight years old. Damn. So, if you want to help donate so I can get, you know, something better than that, I'd appreciate it. If you don't, that's cool too. So, that'll do it for Smart Protection 2012.